the year group's year four and they're just about to start a topic on sound so the aim of the session is to find out what they currently know um, and some of the vocabulary they they understand and are using correctly any misconceptions they might have and then gaps in their knowledge which areas do we really need to focus on and then at the end of the lesson we also give the children we will also give the children a chance to um, say what they would like to find out about the topic and um, we aim to plan those into the topic so that it's quite child-led so they are learning about things that they want to learn about that interest them. There's going to be um, five different activities set up for them just to explore and investigate. There are differentiated questions so everybody should be able to answer some questions about each activity. Um, some guidance on how to explore um, what to do with each activity um, and then some harder questions as well to really see to sort of stretch some of the more able children and and see exactly what they know about this topic. Is tuning in for work then? Um, it vibrates because you bang it so hard that wobbles and that causes it to when it wobbles it, it makes it flinch it back. If you put your strings in it, it vibrates like this. Ooh! Lovely! Thank you very much! You've got a really good knack for that. Okay, so now this is the one you need to think about then, about how it works. You've got some really nice ideas, Harvey. Tell your group what your ideas are and see if you can come to a conclusion about how this tuning fork works. Lovely. Okay, Harvey, tell your group what you think is, is happening. Because you bang it so hard, it wobbles and then you put it in the water and then that um, flips the water out. So like the vibration makes the water move. Yeah. Okay, so that's what you're putting down in your green section then. But how do we how do we cause this to vibrate? What has to happen to this for it to vibrate? It needs to be it needs to be it needs to be on a solid on a solid. Okay, but perhaps that needs to be done as well then. It needs to be on a solid no, material. Yeah. <laughs> Pass it back over. Uh, for us, bongo. So, <laughs> what do you do with the thing it is? So actually, if you've just said that it needs to be hit on a solid, well, how could we test that? But if you wouldn't be able to bang it on the water you necessarily. You could bang it on a liquid or something because it'll just go through it. Okay, so but we're it has to be a hard surface. A hard going. surface, lovely. Because that you can be solid, but you can't bang then it. That definitely needs to be in your answer. You need to really explain that it needs to be that hard, solid surface. Oh, yeah.